Bonjour. Welcome to the newcomers and welcome back for the others. Today we'll be we'll get started with the chapter two of the Prince of Thorns. Um, before starting, I'd just like to to thank the few people who've uh, commented the last video. It made me really happy. Okay, let's go. Maberton burnt well. All the villages burned well that summer. Making called it a hot bastard of summer. Too mean to give out rain, and he wasn't wrong. Dust rose behind us when we rode in. Smoke when we rode out. Would be a farmer, making like to ask questions. Would be a farmer's daughter. I nodded toward Reich, rolling in his saddle, almost tired enough to fall out, wearing a stupid green and a bolt of samit clothes over his half plate. Where he found samit in Maberton, I never did get to know. Brother Reich does enjoy his simple pleasures, make him say. He did. Rick had a hunger for it. Hungry like the fire, the flames fair ate up Maberton. I put the torch to the chachet in, and the fire chased it at us out. Just one more bloody day in the year's long death throes of our broken pyre. Making wipe at his sweat, smearing himself all over with south stripes. He had a talent for getting dirty, did Makin. You weren't above the simple pleasure yourself, brother Dorg. I called and I argue there. How old are you? That fat farmer had wanted to know. Old enough to pay a call on his daughters. The fat girl had a lot to say, just like a father. Screeched like a barn owl. Hurt my ear with it. I liked the older one better. She was quiet enough. So quiet, you'd give a twist here or there just to check she hadn't died of fright. Though I don't suppose either of them was quiet when the fire reached them. Jem trod up and spoiled my imaginings. Baron's men will see that smoke from ten miles. You shouldn't have burned it. He shook his head, his stupid man of ginger hair bobbing this way and that. Shouldn't have, uh, his idiot brother joined in, calling from the old grey. We let him ride the old grey with the cart hitched up. The grey wouldn't leave the road. That horse was cleverer than Michael. Jem always wanted to point stuff out. You shouldn't put them bodies down the well, we'll go thirsty now. You shouldn't have killed that priest, we'll have bad luck now. If we'd gone easy on her, we'd have ransom from Baron Kennick. I just aged to put my knife through his throat. Right then. Just to lean out and plant it in his neck. What's that? What say you, brother Jemt? Bubble? Bubble? Shouldn't I stab you, bugly old Adam's apple? Oh no! I cried, all shocked like. Quick, little Ricky, go piece on Maberton. Go to put that fire out. Baron's men will see it. Say Jemt, stubborn and red-faced. He went red as a beat if you crossed him. That red face just made me want to kill him even more. I didn't know. You got responsibilities when you're a leader. You got a responsibility not to kill too many of your men. Or where are you going to lead? The column benched up around us. The weight always did when something was up. I pulled on Jared's rein and he stopped with a sneaker and a stamp. I watched it jumped and waited. 
waited until all 38 of my brothers gathered around. And Gimt got so red, you'd think his ears would bleed. Where are we all going, my brother? I asked, and I stood in my stirrups so I could look out over their ugly faces. I asked it in my quiet voice, and they all hushed to hear. Where? I asked again. Surely it isn't me that knows. Do I keep secret from you, my brothers? Reich looked a bit confused at this, furrowing his brow. Fat Burlow came up on my right. On my left, Nuban with his teeth so white in that suit black face. Silence. Boys of Jammed can't tell us. He knows what she'll be and what is. I smiled, though my hand still aches with one thing, my dagger in his neck. Where are we going, brother Jammed? Weneth on the horse coast, he said, all reluctant not wanting to agree to anything. Well and good. How are we going to get, sir? Near forty of us on our fine oh-so-stolen horses? Gemt set his jaw. He couldn't see where I was going. How are we going to get there if we want a slice of the pie while it's still nice and hot? I asked. Leech Road, Wright called out, all pleased that he knew the answer. Leech Road, I repeated, still quiet and smiling. What other way could we go? I look at the Nuban, holding his dark eyes. I couldn't read him, but I let him read me. Ain't no other way, Wright's on roll, I saw. He don't know what game's being played, but he likes his part. Do the Baron's men know where we're going? I asked Farberlo. War dogs follow the front, he said. Fat Burlo is ain't stupid. His jaw will quiver when he speaks, but he ain't stupid. So, I looked around them. Real slow, like. So, the Baron knows where bandits such as ourselves will be going. And he knows the way we've got to go. I let that sink in. And I just lit a bloody big fire that tells him and his what a bad idea beat follow. I stuck jammed with my knife. I didn't need to, but I wanted it. He danced pretty enough to bubble, bubble on his blood and fell off his horse. His red face went pale quick enough. Michael, I said, take his head. And he did. Gem just chose bad moments. Whatever Brock brother Michael left the outside untouched, he looked as solid and as tough and as sour as the rest of them, until you asked him a question. That's it for chapter two. Um, I think I have some time today to do the chapter three, so you won't have to wait too long. Bye bye.